respect to class of design of muslim elements i am hitesh rayani assistant professor at lj institute of engineering and technology this is lecture 39 multi leaf springs the learning outcomes of this le lecture is to learn the basics of multi leaf springs and uh, the design of multi leaf springs so let's consider the multi leaf springs as shown here here you can see the spring of a uh, spring which uh, has a multi leaf so this spring is known as the multi leaf spring in this spring uh, there are one master leaf and uh, followed by two extra full length leaves and then graduated length leaves and these all leaves are combined by the uh, clips so you can see here here are first uh, master leaf then uh, followed by two extra full length leaves and then graduated length leaves and these all leaves are clamped by the center clips and uh, 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 rebound clips at both ends so uh, this is the structure of multi leaf springs this is this type of leaf spring is uh, mostly used in the automa uh, automobiles industries or like truck uh, uh, or uh, transportation vehicles etc here uh, there are a uh, load to be is applied at the centers and uh, you can see the eyes of ma master leaves and the force p is uh, applied for the both end of eyes and the distance between uh, center eyes uh, is equal to 2 f so let's consider a is equal to the length of the cantilever or you can say the half length of the semi electrical spring in m so if you cut and from the center you can say that it will like as a cantilever b so l is the length of the cantilever or <coughs> half length of the semi electrical spring p is the force applied at the end of spring so here the end is the i of master leaf and it apply as p in newton and pf is the portion of p taken by extra full length leaves in newton so you can see in figure here there are two extra full length leaves so whatever the portion of p taken by these two leaves uh, that is nothing but the pf and pg is the portion of p taken by the graduated length leaf length leaf and it is in newton so pg is the load taken portion of p which is taken by the graduated links and the, that is denoted by pg <coughs> also we have to consider this nomenclature for the analysis of multi leaf springs and here nf is the number of extra full leaves ng is the number of graduated length uh, uh, graduate length leaves uh, including the master leaves n is the total number of leaves and b is the width of each leaves and t is the thickness of each leaves all dimensions are in mm so consider one figure so you are you can say that one master uh, uh, leaves uh, leaves is uh, and then uh, graduated uh, leaves and uh, it has a length l and it is bf as a cantilever beam and thickness of this length is t so in figure b if you say that one master plate uh, uh, or one master leaves of with t and uh, all graduated leaves are placed on the both side of uh, uh, thickness b by 2 or with b by 2 sorry with b by 2 and if you consider this configuration it is like the triangular block of thickness t and has a width ngp and subjected to load pg at the end so in this case uh, bending stress uh, sigma bg is equal to mb by by i as uh, we know the mb is the bending moment and i is the mo uh, moment of inertia 
So in this case, the MB is nothing but the PG into the distance L. So MB is PG into L and Y is the T by 2 and I, we know the moment of inertia 1 by 12 D into D cube. So here D is the NGD and uh, the D is T, so uh, it is 1 by 12 NGB into T cube. So this is the sigma BG. So if we simplify this, we get the sigma BG is equal to 6 PGL divided by NG B T squared. So this equation we have to use while we use the, while we doing the design of multi lipsing So now consider this figure and uh, it is proven that the deflections delta G at the load point of triangular point is given, triangular plane is given by uh, delta G is equal to PGL cube divided by 2E into I max. Here I is 1 by 12 NGB into T cube. So if we simplify we get uh, delta G is equal to 6 PGL cube divided by E and G B T cube. So this is the uh, delta G value. Now uh, consider the extra full length leaves as a rectangular plate as shown in figure here. The extra full length leaves is considered as a rectangular plate and has thickness P and load PF is the low take portion of P which is taken by the extra full length and that is denoted by PF. So, if we consider the figure P, there are central uh, plate, plate or central leaves of plate B, and uh, then master uh, uh, leaves will be placed by the both sides, uh, which has a width B by 2. So, the total width of this is uh, NFB. And if we calculate the uh, sigma B F according to the equations MBY by I, so here MB is uh, PF into L and Y is T by 2 and I here 1 by 12 NFB into T Q. So if we simplify these equations, we get the answer of sigma BF is equal to 6 PF L divided by NFB T squared. So this is the sigma BF equations. Now, the deflections at the end point is given by. So here the player leaves as considered as the rectangular plate and uh, for the rectangular plate the deflections at the load point is given by delta F is equal to PF L cube divided by 3 EI. So here uh, we have to place the value of I. So that is equal to 1 by 12 NFB into T cube. So if we simplify all uh, uh, these equations, we get the delta F, that is the deflections of uh, extra uh, full length leaves, and that is equal to delta F is equal to 4 PF L cube divided by E and F B into T cube. So we have a value of delta G and delta F, but here the whole spring have all leaves have a constant deflection. So uh, delta G is equal to delta F. So if we replace the value of delta G and delta F, we calculated in previous slide. So delta G here is the six PG L cube divided by E and G. B into T cubes and that is equal to delta F and that is nothing but the 4 P F L cube divided by E and F B T cube. So if we simplify these equations we get P G upon P F is equal to 2 N G divided by 3 N F and we know the P A P is equal to P G plus P F or you can say P G plus P F is equal to P. 
here the PG is the portion of load taken by the graduated blade length leave and PF is the portion of load which is taken by the extra full length leaves. So you have to do equations that is PG upon PF is equal to 2 NG upon T and F and PG plus PF is equal to P. So from these two equations we can calculate PF is equal to 3 and F into P divided by 3 and F plus 2 and G and also we calculate PG uh, is equal to 2 and G into P divided by 3 and F plus 2 and G so this is the uh, PF and PG values now sigma B in uh, sigma BG so we have to press the value of uh, PG in equation of sigma BG and if we uh, press this value we get the R value of sigma BG is equal to 12 PL divided by 3 and F plus 2 and G into PT square and if we press the value of PF in equation sigma BF we get the sigma BF is equal to 18 PL divided by 3 and F plus 2 and G into BT square. So if you compare these both equations, you can say that the sigma BF is almost uh, uh, 1.5 uh, into sigma BG. So uh, sigma BF is the higher than sigma BG. Now uh, consider the problems of multi uh, leaf spring. So a semi electrical multi leaf spring is used for the suspension of a rear axle of a truck. It, is, it consists of two extra full length leaves and ten graduated length leaves, including master leaf. Uh, the center to center distance between the spring eyes is 1.2 meters so that is nothing but the 2L so 2L is given 1.2 meter the leaves are made of steel 55HI2M0 2MO90 uh, so uh, SU value is given 1500 Newton per mm square and E is 207 Newton per mm square and the factor of that is given 2.5 the spring is to be designed for the maximum force of 30 kN so here the maximum force of 30 kN is given so uh, that is nothing but the 2P is equal to 30 kN the leaves are free stress so as to equalize stress in all leaves so uh, uh, you have to given that the leaves are free stress so the stresses in each leaves are the same determine for the cross sections of the leaves and second is the deflections at the end of this end of the spring so uh, Consider the data given here is 2P is 30 kN, 2L is 1.2 meter, NF is that is the 2 and NG is uh, 10, P is given 207 uh, 000 N per mm square and SYT is given 1500 N per mm square and a factor of set is given 2.5. First, we have to calculate the cross sections of the leaves. So, we have a given 2P is equal to 30 kN. So, P is 15,000 newtons and 2L is given 1.2 meter. So, L is 600 mm. Now, sigma P according to the given data, SYT upon factor of safety and SYT here is the 1500 and factor of safety is given 2.5. So sigma B is 600 Newton per mm square and we know the formulas for the uh, sigma B that is 6 PL divided by NBT square. So sigma B value we have calculated here that is 600 Newton per mm square P is 15000 uh, Newtons and N here is the given in our problem. So if we place uh, all these values, 
values uh, that is sigma b is 600, uh, p is 1500, l is 600 and here n is the total number of clicks. So, so here uh, ng is given 10 and, and f is given 2. So total number of clicks is 2 plus 10 and b is so if we uh, simplify we get uh, bt square is equal to 7 pi double zero mm cube so now we have to calculate the cross section of the lip so we have to assume the standard uh, width that is equal to 60 mm so if we place the b is 60 mm so we get the t square is equal to 7 pi double zero divided by 60 and we get t is equal to 11.18 or you can say 12 mm so t is 12 mm and uh, b is 16 mm so that is our required answer and now second things we have to calculate the deflections at the end of the springs and we know the uh, equations of delta is equal to 12 e l cube divided by e b t cube into 3 and f plus 2 and g here nf is 2 and g is 10 uh, v we calculate b here we have to consider 60 mm t we have to consider 12 mm e is given p p is given and l is uh, 600 so if we place all this value in this equations so we get the uh, uh, equations of delta like this and if we simplify or calculate the value we get the delta is equal to 69.68 mm that is our second required answer so in this lecture we learn the multi-lift springs design of multi-lift springs thank you